Hello everyone. Let's discuss some important questions of chemistry paper 1. The first chapter that is solid state, the first question, the first important question rather, distinguish between crystalline and amorphous solid. Second one, distinguish between conductor, insulator and semiconductor. Third point, explain Schottky defect, Frankel defect, diamagnetism, paramagnetism and ferromagnetism. Followed by what are point defects and explain interstitial and impurity defects. Explain the classification of solids, explain band theory and explain the types of three dimensional packing. So these are the possible important questions from the chapter solid state. Let's go ahead with the second chapter as per your textbook index that is solution and colligative property. The first important question is state. Henry's law, Raoult's law, Vantoff, Boyle's law, Vantoff, Charles law, Vantoff, Avogadro's law, Vantoff factor and osmosis. The second one is define colligative property and give its example. The third one is define isotonic solution, hypertonic solution, hypotonic solution. The fourth one is derive Vantoff equation for osmotic pressure of a solution and the expression for degree of dissociation followed by derive the relation between elevation of boiling point and molar mass of solute and last one derive the relation between relative lowering of vapor pressure and molar mass of solute. These are the questions of solution and colligative properties. Let's go ahead with chemical thermodynamics and energetics where the first one is state and explain first law of thermodynamics, second law of thermodynamics and third law of thermodynamics followed by derive the expression for maximum worked in where you will require the diagram as I told you. Second one will be delta H is equals to delta U plus P delta V followed by delta G is equals to delta G naught plus RT ln Q. Third one explain Gibbs free energy and the change in Gibbs energy and its expression followed by predict the sign of delta S and delta H for a given process criteria for spontaneous and non-spontaneous process. So this were some important questions from the chapter chemical thermodynamics and energetics. Let's move ahead with electrochemistry. Faraday's first law and Faraday's second law of electrolysis. Kohlroch law of independent migration of uh, ions. Nernst equation where the numericals are very important. Fourth one explain corrosion theory. Fifth one explain principle diagram construction working cell representation of Daniel cell SHE SCE rye cell fuel cell and lead accumulator followed by state and explain electrochemical series and the last one is what is salt bridge and give its function so these are some of the important questions from the chapter electrochemistry Let's move ahead with chemical kinetics which says that the first one distinguish between order of reaction and molecularity of a reaction followed by define half life of a reaction and derive the expression for the same. Third one derive the expression for integrated rate loss for zero order, first order, second order and pseudo first order reaction and give its graphical representation where also numerical based on this concepts of integrated rate law are very important. Fourth one will be collision theory and fifth one will be Arrhenius equation. So that's the important question based on the chapter chemical kinetics. Let's go ahead with general principles and process of isolation of elements where the first one is you need to remember the minerals and ores for Fe, Zn, Mg and aluminium followed by the Alingam diagram with its explanation and you need to explain one is pyrometallurgy, hydrometallurgy, leaching, smelting, roasting followed by calcination, gange and slag, holing and electrometallurgy. The fourth one is extraction of zinc, 
Fe, aluminium and copper. So these are the important question based on general principles and process of isolation of elements. Let's go ahead with the last chapter that is P block, the most important topic. One, interhalogen compounds, hybridization involved in the compound and structures of and the structure and also the important point that is oxy acids where the structure of oxy acids are also very important. Second one, electronic configuration, occurrence and oxidation state. The concept of uh, oxidation state is quite important. How is phosphine prepared? The preparation of phosphine. Action of nitrogen on magnesium, hydrogen, oxygen. Followed by action of concentrated nitric acid on copper and zinc. Followed by how is H2SO4 manufactured by contact process. Followed by how is ammonia manufactured and followed by the uses of the elements in P block. This were the important questions from chemistry paper 1. In next module, we'll discuss the important questions of chemistry paper 2. Thank you.